Well, we just got to Castle Rock Campground where we're going to be touring Mackinac Island. Well, we got in our campsite, we got set up, and we found the ferry. It's just down the street from the um, campsite, Schlepplers. That's where we're gonna get on the boat to go over to Mackinac Island. And across the street is this Driftwood restaurant and sports bar. So of course we have to go check this out. We finally got to try the smoked whitefish dip. Pretty good. And then of course our Kiwanaw red jacket. Delicious. Well, we got the white fish basket. Fish was quite delicious. But it but pricey, but it was delicious. So how much was our lunch? $82. Not including the tip. So Fred is going into the camp office. I think you can get the tickets to the ferry um, for about $4 cheaper they offer a discount if you buy them here and there's the Shepler's Ferry and the Starline Ferry the Starline Ferry looks like it's quite a bit bigger but the Shepler's Ferry I, I believe I saw advertisement that it's family owned and operated and also it looked like the parking was very secure there so we'll be leaving our truck there all day so Fred wants to do the Shepler's Ferry you see this right here that's Mackinac Island and then this is our campsite. I put the long lens on my camera and you can see the Grand Hotel from here. So Fred and I are sitting out here by the fire, drinking a nice cup of coffee. It's a beautiful night. Nice little cool breeze. It's very nice right now. So could you imagine in the winter time, this lake freezing over? There's something called, I think it's the Mackinac Ice Bridge. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but it could be like someplace right here. Like if this lake froze, froze over, you could actually walk from here to Mackinac Island across the ice. So this is our last park, uh, one of our last few nights here. We're gonna be touring Mackinac Island tomorrow. But we are done for the most part with the upper peninsula portion of our trip. Fred, what what is your take on this trip so far? I've been impressed with the beauty of the woods, forest, and the rivers, small lakes, and then the Great Lakes. It's uh, a sight to behold. I was impressed with the roadways, the roads up here. They're very well maintained, in great driving conditions. No busy interstates, except for I-75, which will end in St. Sue Marie, Michigan, at the Canadian border. Right, where does it, where does 75 start? Down in uh, Miami, Florida. And goes all the way to St. Sue Marie, the Canadian border. Yes, it does. The country is very beautiful up here. So you've enjoyed your trip? Immensely. A trip I will never forget. The boat leaves in 15 minutes, and I believe we have the Mighty Mac tour that goes under the Mackinac Bridge. Here we go. Pretty excited.
Here we go. We're on the island. Pretty little houses. Well, they're not so little, but they're beautiful houses. There's a nice shot of Mackinac Bridge from Mackinac Island. sit out here on the porch. This is the Clog Han bed and breakfast. Looks really cute. What's the name of this shop? Maves. It's really cute. You have some nice stuff in here. Most of it's all hand to hand. So here's the Marquette Park. It's the Mackinac Island State Park. The fort is up here. We're gonna probably go take a look at that. So this fort, Fort Mackinac, was closed in 1895. And this area in the front here is what they used for their vegetable garden. There's a beautiful church. They just fired a cannon, about scared the dogs to death. <laughs> This is from standing atop the fort. So it was a it's a little bit rough being here with two dogs, so we have a little bit of a change in plan. With the two dogs, you really can't go in any place and um, it's just not working out for us the way we had hoped with the dogs on the island. So we had to replan. So Fred is off touring the island and I am sitting here with these two little girls and they are doing some people watching and horse watching. You like it here, Lucy? You like it here? Horses are everywhere. Going up these steep hills, carrying these heavy loads. I understand that the horses, they like they, they bring them here during the tourist season. And then when the tourist season is over, they take all these horses somewhere else I want to say Kentucky, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. But the horses are just here seasonally. Most of the horses. But this is June 2nd. It's very cool today. Um, in the sun, it gets a little warm, but sitting here in the shade, it is perfect. But there are no motor vehicles allowed here. There are no electric bikes allowed here. There were a few people that were bringing their bicycles over on the ferry, but I, I think most people probably rent their bikes here. And then there's this carriage ride that you can take around. Uh, you know, I don't know if we'll do that or not. I kind of have sympathy for the horses. I know that it gives character to the place, but I don't know. So you can rent the individual horses and just go through here horseback like these people are doing up there. But most people are taking these little carts on a tour. It looks like really they just go around the block, but I'm not sure. 
I've noticed that several people have those little soft-sided cart wagons and they're carrying their backpacks and bags and things like that, even dogs in them. That's a really good idea to bring here. So Fred went and got us these burgers. He said these burgers that he got from the, that great turtle were $30 a piece. So, interesting. There's the post office. Here is the Stewart House City Museum on Market Street. Thank you. But before you go much further, uh, we do ask for a five dollar donation. For oh, you. I guess these were plaques that these people would put in front of their homes and businesses. It's a rare Steinway square piano. A little replica of the Mackinac Bridge. In 1670, a priest wintered here. The British in 1781 made it a center of their military and fur trade activity. The island was occupied by Americans in 1796. So they used these horses here for everything. Here's the courthouse and the police station and the fire department back there. The great turtle right down there. That's where Fred got our burgers. So apparently these the Mackinac is the, the island is in the shape of a turtle and actually Mackinac is an Indian name for turtle. That's why you see a lot of turtles, um, turtle and designs and whatnot around the island. So I'm trying to find the Grand Hotel. I'm using my GPS to do so, which is very helpful. The internet's very good here. You have to stay out of the road because the horses are everywhere. electric bike i think the locals have electric bikes so i don't think that you can bring one over on the ship but i've that's about the third electric bike that i've seen here but i'm pretty sure it's from the locals so here's the place drive yourself carriages the saddle horses where you can actually drive your own carriage all by yourself so it says there is a charge of ten dollars per person to enter the hotel if you are not registered and this is where the movie Somewhere in Time was filmed. This here on my right is called the Little Stone Church. And they do have a Sunday service there. It is grand. Very pretty. Look, you can see the Mackinac Bridge from here. Some of these dresses, how pretty, beautiful, beautiful. Horses are waiting right there to take the guests. Pretty nice. Here's a beautiful replica of this hotel. The store called Mackinac Market. See what we can find in here. Here's the 
Here's some of these acrylic paintings. Beautiful. Those are originals. Yes, I see. They're gorgeous. Here's the wine bar. Beautiful. They're talking about the afternoon tea. For, it starts at 3.30. You get a three-tier, you know, dessert tower. I think she said somewhere around $60. That's really not too bad for here, I would imagine. It's beautiful. This is certainly beautiful. This is the trophy room. Oh, and here you can see in one of the rooms. I hmm. think I got a sneak peek of that. This is a hallway where the rooms are. Very pretty. This is something else. So here's the balcony. Grand Hotel carriage. There's the pool down there. I guess this is the dining room. Oh boy, is it big. Wow. This place is huge. Oh look, they have a little art gallery. They have the Gerald Ford conference room, a theater. Something up there, Straits of Mackinac, but I'm not sure what that is. I think I could spend about a week in here touring this place. Business center. Here is the theater. I think they're getting ready for something. Look at this. Beautiful theater. Well, I did very much enjoy taking a tour of the Grand Hotel. I've always wondered what it was like inside of there. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful and a great place to go if you're interested in those things. In addition to spending an exorbitant amount of money, that place could be for you. Look at these beautiful flowers. So this looks kind of like the main street going through this island. Certainly appears to be the most busy. Okay, so I have spent my weight here in gifts for people and now I've got to try this fudge. You can't come to Mackinac Island and not try the fudge. Fudge is famous here. Mm, the smell is amazing. They have ice creams. All right, so I got the Reba sampler, which is a pound and a half of fudge, six different flavors for $29. And then I also got a bag of this caramel corn, which I love caramel corn. Hey, they have storage lockers here. And now I have done everything that I think I wanted to do on Mackinac Island. I'm gonna go try to find Fred. I know he's anxious to see me. This looks like a pretty big motel, hotel, bicycle street, inn and suites. And then Main Street Inn right next to it. Looks a little bit nicer, but they're both very nice. 
I tell you what, any place you stay here is gonna be nice. I've not seen one place that that looks bad. There, everything is nice. All the little cottages, the bed and breakfast, they're all gorgeous. I don't think you could go wrong. A lot of art galleries. Beautiful. This is the Lilac Tree Hotel. Here's another place where you can rent bicycles, right by the Starline Dock. And here we are back at the State Park. And I know Fred is sitting up there on the grass somewhere. It's been a good day. And you know, the, when you first get here, it's a little hectic because there's so much you want to do. But the main thing is, is just to come here and relax and do a little shopping and enjoy the day. And there's my husband and my two little dogs. And he's been reading his book. Hey, sweetheart. So Fred, he wants the fudge right now. It's supposed to be six different kinds. Yeah. I got the sampler. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Mm. We're gonna enjoy this fudge. That's chocolate. That's gotta be either peanut butter or butterscotch. Mm. Delicious. So here is our <clears throat> pound and a half of fudge. It's quite heavy. What a treat. Lucy's enjoying her bone. So on the way back, we're able to sit on the top deck of the boat. Maybe give us a little bit different view, but I don't think we go under the Mackinac Bridge this time. We're ready to get back to the campsite. have a cold beer. Really is a beautiful day. Goodbye Mackinac Island. Lake Huron really is a beautiful lake. We're back at the campsite now and we've had a minute to rest. It was a hard day. Um, and look at these geese. They're so pretty. They just, these two families of geese, mom and dad and babies, and then another set of mom and dad and babies. They're so pretty and they just swim back and forth right in front. A couple of people here took these kayaks out I don't know if those are those kayaks belong to the park and they just loaned them to them or if they're actually their personal kayaks. Fred is having another nice evening by the fire. You know, Fred and I were talking about Mackinac Island and how crowded it was, but the ferries, they stopped running at seven. So I bet that after seven, that island um, becomes much less congested. This is 81 and 80. And this is the restroom up this direction. There's site 41, it looks like a pull through. And there's the restrooms up here. And the showers. Here's site 64 and 65. And that was site 66, this is 67. This is 68 and then 69 right here at the end. Pretty nice sight. 
That's a little park area where people come and sit at these picnic tables. And then here are our sites. Here's our site. Um, the one on the end there is, let's see, 48 and we're 49. So I don't know, I think 48 and 49 probably have the best water view in the whole park. I've shown our electric bike before, but it certainly is a good one. It's a Bentelli. I think it was around 1600. It says it's made in South Carolina. Look at all those fuzzy little babies. Aren't they cute? <laughs> well, we are about 15 minutes from being packed up and ready to make our journey home from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan to Bartow, Florida. So we're ready to go. We've been at it for about a month and um, we're anxious to get home. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure you subscribe and, and like if you enjoy watching this kind of content. And we'll see you in the next video, which is probably gonna be in about three months. We're taking a cruise to um, Canada and the New England states. That, that will be in September. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.